Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today I am doing something for the hashtag event from the Creative Arts Collaboration called Trash to Treasure and this is where you take something that you know was going to be thrown away and you make it into something and those of you who watch my channel know that I like to make books and I was making this macaroni and cheese and I looked at the size of the box and I said hey that would make a really great tag book because people are always asking me what do you do with your tags what do you do with your tags because I like to make alter tags um, I think that they're a fun thing to do in a quick amount of time I can make an easy video with something that small and I like to make them out of scraps I like to make you know I do all kinds of stuff with tags and I have a ton of them so I thought well for the ones that I don't give away it would be kind of nice to store them in a little book so I took apart this uh, macaroni and cheese box and I did really tear up the one flap so I added an extra piece of a different um, packaging um, just as I, I like to glue down the flaps you guys have watched me do this before and I'll I'll uh, link some other videos where I do this so then to cover it um, I had this insert from a 12 by 12 stencil that was shiny black paper on the other side see it's shiny black paper on the other side and I wanted to make the whole book a neutral color and of course black is a great neutral color to um, let other things stand out like if you put something on a black background whatever you put on it is going to stand out and <clears throat> since I'm going to be filling this with different altered tags I wanted the tags to be the focus and not the pages of the book. Does that make sense? I think it does. So I decided to do all of it in black. So since we're doing trash to treasure, this happened to be a trashy piece of black and I decided to use it as my cover. So on the front side, I put some um, matte gel medium paste stuff and stuck it down and then now I am folding in the flaps to the back side or the inside and gluing those down with some tacky glue so that the edges of the box will be completely covered in the black paper as well and then I'll cover the inside with black paper also um, Something that I wasn't that pleased with as I did this is that shiny, shiny black paper shows every little bump that there is. So I had put the, the matte gel underneath to glue it all down and then I had a lot of bumps because the gel is under there and the way the light shines off it, it just makes it very obvious that it's bumpy and so I probably wouldn't do it with a shiny paper again um, but since I was going to decorate it anyway it didn't really matter I was planning on jelly printing it which I did right now I'm taking out a few stencils out of my new stencil book I left it in there because I thought you guys might want to see that um, I have been storing my stencils on hooks on my wall on like command strip hooks and the problem with that they're all there but in order to get the one that I want I have to take others off which I didn't think about when I des designed my storage solution there so uh, I didn't really like that um, so I decided to put them in inexpensive folder in with inexpensive uh, you know um, protector sheets and so I just did that so I, I left it in there in case you wanted to see it so now I have out a couple different jelly plates and I am doing multiple layers of iridescent paint these are the Dyna PBO iridescent paints and I wanted to build up the layers um, maybe not all the time do you make as many layers as I do, did on this but I wanted to build up the different colors build up the different layers and um, then I also have just this plain black cardstock that I'm doing cleanup prints with and I got some really really interesting prints which I didn't show in the video but um, after I got a few different layers on the whole background then I'm taking this uh, I think it's a four inch round pretty sure this is the four inch and then I'll I'll get the smaller one out eventually 
and instead of uh, cleaning off my brayer onto paper, well, sometimes I did. I did do a lot of the cleaning off right onto that 8x10, and that's how I built up a bunch of interesting layers, um, which I eventually pulled off in a um, cleanup, a couple cleanup prints that turned out really cool. Sorry, didn't leave them in, <laughs> but I'll tell you they were cool. You'll probably see them eventually in another project. So I just used some black um, paint, and I I wanted to break up the background, so I just put black circles all around it with that four inch brayer, I mean that four inch uh, jelly print. And now I have the mini, and I'm using some different colors, and this is where my stencils come in. I put the stencil, I put the color on, then put the stencil over it, and then brayer again to kind of get a pattern into the, uh, the circles that I'm putting on with these other colors. That's the green, yellow, or yellow, green, and then this one is red, blue, I think, or blue, red, red, blue, probably, doing the same thing, and I'm just adding some more texture and layers onto this uh, cover for my tag book, which used to be a macaroni and cheese box. It turns out pretty. It, the black paper makes these um, shimmery paints have a different look than they do on a white paper. They're a lot more dramatic. So it's pretty. It's very pretty. So then I have to figure out the, uh, which oh, I made one more layer. Okay, I put some black and then I put some of the blue, blue black, I think it is, which comes kind of purple, looks kind of purpley for my last layer over the top of everything. And I did a brayer, some of that paint on the inside so that the edges on the inside match the outside somewhat. So I was happy with that. That's my cover. And now I'm trying to figure out how to do the, the pages on the inside. So I know that I want to put tags in, but I don't want to glue anything. I don't want to glue the tags to the pages because then I can't take them back out again. And um, I do give a lot of them away. So I want to be able to take them in and out of the book. So I needed to make a pocket. So what I did was fold up the excess. I figured out how tall the book was. And then these are um, eight and a half by 11, kind of a black cardstock, a matte, kind of a matte black cardstock. And I used my scoring tool on my cutter to measure and score to make basically a pocket on the bottom that I can stick the tags in. You'll see I now I've got distracted and decided I needed to cover the inside. <laughs> I started making pages, then I started I then I decided I needed to cover the inside because it was bothering me. That's just how how I jump around. But um, these are these are uh, reject pieces that were the wrong size um, when I cut them. So I use those to cover you know, you don't want to waste anything, so I use those to cover the insides. And they're not exactly the same, but it doesn't matter because you see the front and you see the back, you don't ever see them at the same time because the pages are in between. Does that make sense? So they're not exactly the same, but it's that's life. They cover up the ugly part of the box on the inside. Just gluing that down with some more tacky glue. And then I'll go back to making pages. <laughs> okay, cover's done. All right, back to pages. So I figured out what exactly the right size was and what exactly the right um, the right scoring was with my scoring tool. Uh, that top there is hard to see in the light, so I put a little piece of tape so that I don't have to keep trying to find six and three quarters over and over and over where it's very hard to see. So then it's folded up at the bottom and folded in half to make my pages. And then the, the tag just tucks right down in that pocket and stays there until you want to take it back out again. 
So my original idea was that I was going to make all these pocket pages and then glue them back to back to back to back um, and then put them in and glue them in that way but I didn't want to do all that gluing so I said heck with that I'm going to use my easy method of binding a book which is to use this elastic. This is a I think it's one millimeter elastic that I bought on Amazon and I'll find it and link it for you down below if you want to try this and all I do is just <clears throat> wrap it as many pages as I want and I did put 15 wraps but I ended up only putting 10 pages in because it started to get really full so I didn't use all my wraps but I started out with 15 just wrapping the elastic around and around and around and then that's where I can tuck my pages in and then I just tie it in a knot at the back and then I tuck it under and tie it again so that all those little things are together and don't want to go sliding off the side of the book and that's how I'm going to insert my pages so then you just take you just put your page under one of the little elastics and then you can continue to put more and more and more pages so then my next thing I'm thinking about okay well I've got these pockets but they're not going to stay shut so I decided to use washi tapes to um, make the pockets stay shut on the sides and also to make it a little bit more decorative add a little bit of color and design to the book so first I put the tape purely decorative across the bottom and then I put it up the same tape up the sides um, taping down that edge where the pocket is and now it's pocket because it can't open back up because it's been taped down if that makes sense so while you're watching me do this portion, I will tell you, if you put the hashtag, hashtag trash to treasure in your search box above, you will find other people who have made trash to treasure videos for this um, hashtag event collaboration. And I have no idea what they made, but I'm sure it's great. So go and find some more of those people and give them a like and a and a comment give them some love so that uh, their channels are benefited from your watching and also of course please like my video if you like it <laughs> you don't have to like it if you don't want to <laughs> but um, also leave me a comment so I know you were here and uh, subscribe if you haven't already so this will be the last hashtag event that CAC is doing apparently which I'm kind of sad because I've participated in almost all of them so to keep my book closed because it doesn't want to stay closed like if it's just sitting there it's open like an accordion um, I'm using a heart-shaped bead and you know those two extra tails of elastic that I left after I tied I'm threading them one direction in the other direction and pulling it tight so that I have like an elastic tie that will keep this shut when I'm not using it and then to keep them from sliding out of the bead I'm tying another little bead on either side that looks like a leaf so it's like a heart with uh, leaves on either side kinda looks like an apple with leaves a little bit and then because it's elastic I can stretch it off and stretch it back on and it keeps the book shut when I'm not um, looking at it so I hope you've enjoyed this project and it inspires you to do something with some of your trashy boxes and um, that's it for me thanks bye bye